So in this video I'd like to show you how to complete this Christmas Robin embroidery. Um, here is the completed one in cream colourway um, but I'll be completing the navy blue one. So the pattern is printed on the fabric. Um, if you're getting the kit it comes with um, all the threads you'll need. You've got the numbering on top so it's eight different colours and here's your guidelines so you can follow uh, so number one, orange, etc. So let's get straight to it. Um, we'll start with the hoop, um, loosen the outer part and then just press down. You want the fabric to look nice and straight and then tighten it. And then you can pull on the sides mm -hmm. gently just to make sure the fabric doesn't get damaged and that looks quite good. When you press with your finger down you shouldn't be able to touch the table. So We'll start with the eye and the beak which will make it easier when we start filling the body. So I made um, a knot at the end to make it look bigger. Uh, I'm using only two strands for this and we'll do just filling the circle with a small satin stitch so it doesn't come out with this black thread that well so I hope you can see it okay on the camera but once we're filling um, the orange and the other colours it will, it will look really nice so just keep doing that until all of the white space is filled so just a little circle there we go and then we'll do the beak so again I'm always starting in the middle when I'm feeling um, when I'm feeling shapes like this just makes it a little bit easier rather than starting at the smallest point so there we go So I'm using the, the orange thread and I'm using three strands so that's the number one and we'll do a chain stitch so let's start here um, and if you haven't done this stitch I'll do it really slowly so create sort of a loop hold it down with your thumb and then with the needle go back in exactly the same spot where you came out and then just do a nice short stitch keep them nice and short and again so if I measure it it's very short it's literally three three and a half four millimeters so very small I'll we'll just keep on doing that. And if it doesn't look massively neat, don't worry about it just yet because um, we'll um, the next the next row of stitches will go very very close next to your first row so once the space is filled um, it will look much neater than just a single row of chain stitch so just keep going don't start ripping it apart straight away unless it's all tangled up mess okay so i'll carry on filling all this space avoiding the big going down um, following the line and then I'll show you how to um, do the next row once I'm finished with that. Okay so with the corners you just want to start 
a new chain. So go like this. Keeping the stitches nice close together, very close. I'm going to slightly angle this one so with my middle finger <clears throat> I'm pushing the fabric upwards just makes it a little bit easier okay so the robin is nearly done um, but I do feel that the black beak is not really standing out on this navy fabric so what I'm going to do um, is I took one strand of the dark brown and I'm going to just just do a little outline um, just just to make it stand out a little bit better Okay, so the next part I'll be doing is this little branch. Now when you look at the pattern, you see the little feet sort of printed across the little branch. Um, so rather than trying to leave a gap for the feet, we will, um, we will carry on and we will completely cover them. And then once it's finished, we'll just do, we'll use the black thread to go over it and then I just think it looks a bit better then you don't have any gaps in between just just looks a bit better um, in here you could also use a split stitch if you prefer um, but I'll be completing it um, I'll carry on doing the chain stitch I started on the little feet I'm using um, two strands of the black thread but you can definitely use three and so let's just put a little leg so following the line we'll do two rows of just a simple straight stitch and then we'll just do little feed so do the middle one completing the berries in chain stitch again and I'm using three strands um, but also you could use you could do it um, satin stitch so straight stitches very close together filling all the space or a French knots that would look really nice um, too so if you want to change it up a bit and use a different stitch that would look really nice too so getting close now so we're going to do the leaf again I'm going to use the chain stitch but also the split stitch would look really nice. Split stitch is just just a short stitch. You come back out and you start in the middle of your previous stitch. Um, but I'm just going to carry on with the same one I used so far. This is my favourite part and it's doing the French knots for the little snow. 
So you do have um, white dots there already you can follow and then of course you can add a little bit more snow. So let's start sensibly on top. Um, and if you haven't done French knots I'll just do it very slowly. So hold the thread with your left hand and then we will wrap it around the needle twice and then we'll go in not exactly in the same spot where we came out just kind of next to it and then pull the thread and go in so I'm using just two threads um, two strands I mean so but the more strands you use the bigger the knot will be so you know if you want to make it look bigger go for it i think on the contrasting fabrics you're better off with just two strands and it does stand up stand out quite a lot yeah. and you don't have to follow these you can just add as many as you want I often get carried away and just start adding. I just love. I just love doing French knots. <laughs> so, again, hold it with your left hand and wrap it twice. You can also wrap it three times. It will make the knot bigger. Um, but sometimes I get it a bit tangled, so I think two is my sort of safe option. So I tend to do just two. Okay. Okay. Embroideries in navy linen and cream cotton. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I really hope you enjoy making these.